hello my dear students uh, today i am going to explain you the geological map number 3 <coughs> this is the third map generally uh, if i already studied the last two maps in the last videos now this is the third map and here this is the x and this is the y and generally you can observe the things here the dotted lines are called as the continuous lines sorry dotted lines are called as the contour lines the continuous lines or the bedding place you can observe here instead of the names they have mentioned a b c d e type of the bed here can i please sir this yeah. is the you need to prepare one more question out of five questions now two are repeated that one a bed a bed this is the a bed from here to here this is the b bed from here to here this is the c bed from here to here this is the d from this bedding plane to here this is the e bed there are five different types of the beds are there a b c d and this is the dike dike igneous intrusion of an rock bed it has intruded we have to show all these things in and geological history at the cross section the first thing you need to do is you have to join the x and y and here i have already taken strip paper and i have marked the contour lines this is contour value 600 this contour value is 600 again it is repeating here and this is the contour value of the 500 this is the contour value of the <coughs> 400 ha huh. contour value of the 400 and 300 is not representing here so the first step is <coughs> you need to get the profiles so i have already shifted the x and y x and y now i have already shifted this contour values from here to the graph sheets 600 600 500 500 400 400 first draw the profile 600 meter in the vertical 100 meter 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 generally uh, you are able to identify the highest contour value here this is in this geological map the 600 is the highest contour value we have additional 600 600 Just don't use the scale to join these lines with the free hand we are able to join this lines when you join all the points you will get the profile like this this is the geological this is the profile of this area here the important things you need to observe here we need to find the dipping angles here uh, if the contour lines and bedding planes which runs parallel to each other then it represents the beds are horizontal but it has inclined towards some directions within some amount we need to find out that amount <coughs> to find out the dipping amount first here we need to find out the strike how to find the strike see you have to mark the points where the bedding planes and the contour lines the same bedding plane and the same contour lines intersects each other for example here you can observe from here this is the a bed this is the a bedding plane for example this is the contour value of 600 it meets somewhere here so you are supposed to mark these kinds now this is the 500 contour lines the same bedding planes which meets here and here same like the next bedding planes here the 600 which meets the same bedding plane as well as same contour lines here same like the d bed which meet the same same bedding plane same bedding planes which meet the same contour values like this you are supposed to draw at least 3 to 
straight lines. Now you need to join these two points with the bidding planes and contour lines meets these two points. least you are supposed to join three to four points so the points these are the straight lines these are the straight lines now you need to find the distance of these lines here the one line shows 1.9 here one line is 1.9 here it shows 2 here it shows 1.9 so the mean the average distance to find out the dip tan theta is equal to to find out the dip the formula is tan theta is equal to contour interval divided by horizontal distance into scale here tan theta is equal to the contour intervals is 100 meters 600 500 400 300 so the contour interval is 100 meter horizontal distance is already we have already measured the 1.9 the distance the average 0.9 into scale is 100 hmm? theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 divided by 1.9 is equal to so 1 is to 1.9 means 27.75 degree that is good and you said 27.75 degree or 1 is to 1.9 this is the theta now we have to find out towards what directions the rock beds which are inclined it is very difficult to identify for you see you can observe <coughs> the contours is decrease towards these directions the contour values is decreasing towards the its directions now you can observe only in single part only in single part I will show you that you can observe so you can ob the contour is decreasing towards these directions in the decreasing side you need to observe in any bedding plane any one single bedding plane, either this or this or this I will take an example of this bed you can observe only in small portions This is for examples, you no need to do it on the geological map. So you can observe the contour value is decreasing towards the direction from 500, 300, 400, 300, which means towards this directions. Now you can observe only this part from here to here the decreasing. The bedding planes from con this contour to this contour is moving towards the this direction. So it, which means to say that the beds which are inclined towards this directions from a control point. Now you need to shift all the now first step is you need to shift the bedding planes. Already we have transferred the contour values. Now you are going to shift the bedding planes. This is A bed from here to this way. B bed C bed, D bed, E bed, E bed is through this one. From here to here, this is the A bed, here to here, this is B, here to here, C, this to here, D, to here, E. We need to shift it towards the profile. This is the A bed, B bed. 
C bed, D bed, and this is the C bed. A, B, C, D, E. Perpendicularly, we have to shift this towards the profile. already we have studied these beds which are inclined towards the this directions towards the east directions so mean at an ratio of the 20 some point some point degree or ratio of 1, 1 is to 1.9 for this uh, 1 is to 1.9 we can also do, do it the beds which are inclined towards this direction so which means the words from here it is inclined towards this directions at an 27 point some five degree or 1 is to 1.9 ratio we can also do in a two patterns one centimeter market here 1.9 1 is to 1.9 so that's what we can by using the set square we can in directions by using the set squares we can also do like this or we keeping with the compass by keeping the compass also you can do that 27 point some 5 degree the same like you can also do here 27 point some 5 degree some degree reaches here 27 point By using the set square also we can shift it by taking in reference line towards the building planes this is the the beds which are inclined towards these directions at an angle of the 20 some point some five degree this is 27 point on 5 degree and we can observe here the first bed is a bed the first bed is a bed inclined toward the 27.75 this is b bed this is c this is d and this is a bed these are the five beds which are inclined toward these directions at a 27.5 sun 5 degree now need to mark one more things dike we have to see the first we have to mark the dike on the cross sections same things i'm going to shift here all these beds one. after some time the dike dikeness intrusion has done along this area which means the dike which cuts the rock beds need to erase here because it was earlierly this rock bed forms after the sometimes this dike has included this is the symbology of the dike give any symbology this is the geology of the geological history of the area now we need to write the order of these propositions we can observe here 
the top bed is E. The bottom bed is A, which means the top bed E. The next bed is D, C, B, A. A is the oldest bed, E is the youngest bed. Now you have to identify the thickness of these beds. The D bed has a thickness of the 1 cm. 1 cm means is equal to 100 meter with respect to scale which means this bed has a 100 meter thickness C bed it has a thickness of the 500 six, oh, sorry 700 point seven into 100 700 meter you have to see the true thickness 2.1 B bed 2.1 into 100 210 meter like this E bed and A bed has unknown we don't know the thickness because it may extend to some directions here it may extend to somewhere see this is the geological history of the area this means here uh, the given map shows the maximum elevation of the 600 meter and minimum elevation is 200 meters the contours are equally spaced and the area is the valley towards the east this is hill up and valley towards the east when you come to the geological considerations the area consists of the a b c d e bed e type of the rocks in which a type rock is the oldest and e type is the youngest and the nature of the bed is inclined beds this is not an horizontal beds this is an inclined bed the attitude of the rock shows strike direction towards the north north south this strike uh, direction towards the north south Protein direction towards the east, the dipping amount is 1 in 1.9. I can say that 27.75 degree. The geological history is uh, the areas before was a marine basin, the layers are accumulated one above the another, and A being the oldest and E being the youngest rock. Due to the tectonic activities, the area is uplifted as shown in the class. This is the map number 3.